Phil Cohen here, Cohen on content and all things digital on the home. Wow, I got a bunch of stuff from my rant last time. Uh, surprisingly, though, not from the software guys. They were more like, a, yeah, we know, uh, we're working on it. And what's surprising is, in case no, you didn't see it, I was ranting about the uh, fact that it was difficult to exit. As in all things, when it came to the software for digital signage, it's easy to get in. Oh, this is a better price, or this is a prettier, it's got a better report, or whatever. But getting out, that was the difficult part. But, you know, the expense, you deploy 5,000 screens, even at a few hundred dollars a piece, and then if you got to go change them out, you got to change the media player, change the software, or field service calls. And it turns out that pretty much everybody can write into their program into their software that uh, an ability to change it remotely assuming the people you want to change it to have the ability to change remotely so make sure you're talking to your software guys about that no the the, the uh, negative emails i got was more like why are you airing our dirty laundry said, what are you kidding you know we're all in this business to make money i don't think anybody's in this business because they like the way the picture you know you, you may know that I also am a film producer. And I do have two different kinds of films that I'm involved in. Uh, one, the, 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 the big budget stuff is a, a, you know, a, a, an investor and a producer. And that's the job of that is make us money. But from an altruistic perspective, yeah, you know, I, I produce the small, low budget, ultra budget to work with new actors and new directors and new writers. I don't play golf. All right, so that's my hobby. We're in a business to make money. Um, and in that regard, I've had some calls and emails about some of my recent deals. You know, there, there's this term paradigm shift. Now, certainly it, it originated as a science term, you know, but it evolved into just a new way of thinking or a very different way of thinking. What's happened in the last few years is content has not only become more and more important, everybody used to say, content is king, content is king. Not just more and more important for developing audience and developing engagement and, and capturing the attention so that you can report the recall, but it turns out in buying and selling our networks, the financial world is looking at it and saying, what are the assets? And it used to be, you know, the screen hanging on the wall was an asset. And then one day a guy stands up and says, hey, I'm not putting an asset value on that. What am I going to do with it? Well, yeah, but the revenue stream. Well, I don't know about that's an asset value or not. What generates the revenue for the revenue stream? The content. So as we've been doing deals recently, we're seeing that the asset value of the content, which generates the revenue, has become very important in buying and selling of networks. So we've, when I say we, I mean I, have kind of moved a little bit, and let's call it a shift, paradigm shift, if you will, and working with the most successful network operators in each specific area. And when I say successful network operators, I'm talking about real executives, entrepreneurs that are real executives, you know, there's no, there's no, ooh, gee, look at this, maybe we can. You know, they know the nuts and bolts of the business. They know what things cost. They know how to operate them. They know how to hire people, how to train people. They're executives, operators. So I've looked around and I found, I think, in, in, in the different verticals I'm involved in, the, the best network operators in that regard, I've been able to say, here, let's work a deal. You operate the networks. You operate, it's kind of like the old television station, television network uh, plan. I'll be the programmer. That's what I do. I will write, develop, produce, test, monitor, tweak content so that it works. It generates, it, it, it captures, it engages the viewer generates the recall that the advertiser wants to pay for. You operate the network. You keep all the screens running. You keep the signal out there. You do the reporting. You have the professional sales organization 
that sells advertising. And of course, I want to work with the best. And together, we generate a real business. So I think what I'm going back to the paradigm shift I'm talking about is not trying to be all and end all, but working with who's the best at what they do so that you can generate value in both parts or all three parts or all four parts of your business. So stop writing me emails asking me why I did this and why I did that and start looking at how do I make money and what's, what do I bring to the table to make the money and who else is sitting at the table. I always want to be at the table with guys smarter than me. I don't want to smart somebody else up. Why would I want to do that? I want guys that are smart, that know what they're doing, they work hard, and they get the job done. And I'm telling you, I think that's probably what you want to do too. But you do what you want. I'll see you next time. Uh, you know what? We've got the, the uh, a DSF quarterly uh, coming up in Toronto. I know sometimes they don't like me to give stuff like that because it dates the program. Yeah. We're going to Toronto. We're going to have the mixer. I forget the date right now. I think it's June 26th is the mixer. The 27th is the board meeting. Uh, so if you're in Toronto, you want to know what we're doing and you want to know more about the business and you want to meet some people and uh, what do they call it? Greet and meet. Meet and greet. Well, whatever. Network. That's the one. Come on up there. We'll see you then. It's, uh, I think, at the Radisson. Uh, all right. Send me emails if you need something. Call me if you need something and, uh, and like that. I'll see you next time. You'll see me next time.